In this video, we're going to do one more related rate problem. Uh, and this one involves cars, although in AP land, they frequently use trains. Uh, so take a moment and read the problem. Thank you for reading the problem. So car A is traveling west. So car A is going this direction. And car B is heading north, so that direction. And they are heading to the same place. My pen is not working. There we go. Uh, to the same intersection. And what it is we are trying to find is the rate at which the cars are approaching each other. So that's basically the hypotenuse. So I'm going to go ahead and call car AX, car BY, and the distance between them Z. So let's start off with what we're trying to find, which is DZ, DT at a particular moment. Now at that moment, they've actually given us a couple of different things. They've given us car A, which is X, is at 0 0.3, and car B, which is Y, is at 0 0.4. Our known rate of change, in this case, is the speed of the cars, and they gave us both speeds, dx, dt. Car A is traveling at 50 miles per hour, and car B, dy, dt, is traveling at 60 miles per hour. Well, we're going to need a formula. And because this is a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. Now, what bothers some students about this is we have three variables. Well, that's OK, because they gave us enough information to keep all three variables. So derivative of x squared is 2x dx dt. Derivative of y squared is 2y dy dt. And the derivative of z squared is 2z dz dt. Well, we notice immediately we can factor out and divide off a 2 everywhere. So let's go ahead and just cross those out, because we don't need those. Now it's time to plug in. If we come over to our triangle, and it's a right triangle, we know that car A is 0.3, car B is 0.4, using a Pythagorean triple, our hypotenuse would be 0.5. So we can go ahead and plug in, and we've got uh, 0.3 times dx dt, which was 50, plus 0.4 times dy dt, which was 60, is equal to 0.5 dz dt. Well, so if we multiply, we would get 15 plus 24 is equal to 0.5 dz dt. So if we divide the 0.5 over, we would get dz dt is equal to 78 miles per hour. Now, before we go away on this, we want to keep track of, is that distance getting larger or smaller? Well, so as the cars are heading towards each other, that distance is getting smaller, so we should have a negative value there. And we could have done that by looking back at our known. And because they're heading toward each other, those distances are getting to be negative. 